Welcome. I'd like to talk to you about one of my favourite things to do with a quad kite, and that is an axle. When I first started out with axles, I found a lot of my trouble was overthinking how to do the axle. So today I'll break down the axle movement, the technical things that are going on with the kite, leading up to and through the axle, and touch on some body mechanics. Some of this will become subjective when you factor in wind speed, line length, um, what quad you're flying even. Um, out of all the quads that I've owned, Polo, Phoenix, Bazarais, B-Series, Gins, I've been able to axle them all pretty decently. So let's do it. Straight to it. Get dynamic on your feet. You want to get a foot back. Be loose. Don't stand square on. So get a foot back. Remember, an axle, it's a dynamic move. So you'll want to be dynamic. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. Here we see the kite come in for the axle. This is the exact point where the axle is executed. As you see it go round, all the lines are loose. And as you complete the rotation, pick up the slack on the lines to get the pressure back into the sail. These are the hand movements to initiate the axle. You'll see as one hand goes back to pull that brake line, the other's going forward already inducing slack into the sail. Remember, slack is your friend. One way to finish the axle not inverted is to add a half axle onto the end of your full axle. And that way with the kite rotation, you're ending up the leading edge pointing up. Remember, be dynamic. you've enjoyed my 101 video any questions or maybe something you'd like to see in future videos let me know in the comments and I'll see you again soon now get out there and feel it